Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany, and I am super excited to have you joining me for today's video. In our video today, we're gonna to be working on part one of our deck makeover. I am so excited to finally be working on this outdoor space. So let's go ahead and get into it. If you are new to my channel, we just recently moved into our brand new build in December and that was the dead of winter and none of our yard has been worked on. So as you can see, it's just a bunch of dirt and trees and no green whatsoever. It's so sad. Luckily, the trees are going to be blooming here very, very soon, but we probably won't be having grass for quite some time. Uh, our builder still has to grade our lawn and get everything all situated um, before we can start planting any kind of um, grass seed. So we're going to focus on making this deck as beautiful as possible since it's pretty much the only thing we get to enjoy back here right now. So we're going to get started with Danny uh, finishing the staining. So we had started the staining back um, before we moved in and we never got a chance to finish it and then it just started to snow and the snow was so unpredictable that we did not want to run the risk of staining and then there being a really big snowstorm and the stain getting destroyed so we did not finish with this part of the staining until the weather was nicer and it is definitely warming up so Danny wanted to get this done he is using this really nifty tool that we found at Home Depot it is specifically made for staining and staining large areas so it's kind of like a mop head it picks up the stain and then you just rub it onto the wood this is pressurized wood or pressure treated wood so um, it does absorb the stain a little bit differently and he's not wiping it off because we really wanted the stain to like soak in um, but I will say we use the color early American which is the same color as the railing on our deck however for whatever reason this appears to be a lot darker and I don't know if that's just because the railing has had it on there for a lot longer and well not a lot longer four months longer <laughs> uh, five months longer and I don't know if maybe that has just um, changed the color a little bit but we're gonna have to really think about this this part of the deck did come out a heck of a lot darker and we're not super thrilled with it so we are considering our options we're thinking about possibly painting it so stay tuned we'll let you know if we don't paint it We'll have to sand it down and start over, which, you know, is always an option, but we'll keep you posted. But in the meantime, he's going to go ahead and get the stain finished uh, so we can move on to the next items. As you can see from this shot, the deck is clearly visible from our great room. So whatever we did out here, I wanted it to look really, really nice. I wanted it to just look like an extension of the inside of the house because you're going to see it every time you walk into my house um, from the kitchen, the dining room, the family room, you see it. So I wanted it to look really nice and match, you know, the level of interior design. So that was my goal for this space. Once Danny finished with the staining, this is the next day, um, he went ahead and installed these really pretty flower boxes onto the railing. These were found at Walmart. They were super affordable, less than $20, um, possibly even less than that, to be honest. I can't. They were somewhere between $10 and $15. And... Um, 
they come with the pieces to install them to the railing that's what they're made for so they're kind of tricky because you got to get them just right so that they're not leaning down um, and he had to keep going up and down off the deck but he was able to do it and he did get it nice and flush and this is such um, an intricate part of my design for this deck I wanted there to be as much greenery and florals as possible so this was a non-negotiable <laughs> I'm super excited to have these up and we will be adding more my mother-in-law had given me some for uh, my birthday so we're gonna add those as well um, they were just a little bit smaller and I wanted some bigger ones for this section but I'm also going to be adding some railings to the side or some flower pots to the side railings as well and you'll notice in the background there's our builder working in the excavator on the other lot um, he's working on the backyard for our eventual neighbors and hopefully he'll come over here and finish our yard eventually Once he had those installed, it was my turn to come out and work on potting some really pretty florals. I wanted to pick some florals that were going to be resistant just in case we dip down into um, you know, the frost levels, which from what I see, we're not supposed to, but this is New England, you never know. <laughs> so I'm just bringing out some potting soil and some florals. So I picked up um, all white florals I wanted um, you know as much white as possible out here and we do bring in some other colors so don't worry if you're like oh my gosh this woman only ever does white I do bring in some other colored florals don't panic but um, I really did want white up here at the top I just didn't want it to clash with you know whatever decorative pillows I decide to use or blankets um, so I just kept it really clean and fresh and I went with a flowering shrub as well as um, a flower so these are called candy tufts and they are a perennial so they will come back every year and what's great about um, those and the other flowers that I chose which are um, petunias they're both frost resistant, so they're great um, down to negative 20 degrees. Now, you don't, they're not great like staying down there, but they're great if the weather dips down. Um, and they will, because they're perennials, they should come back every year. So we'll see. But, um, <clears throat> and this other one that I grabbed right here, this is another candy tuft. I just got it from an, a different place. So the first florals that I showed you, I got at Lowe's, and that last one I got at Walmart. So they're a little bit different, but I didn't realized that the space was bigger than I thought it was so I needed all three of them um, but it worked out and they're super pretty and I've enjoyed going out and watering them there's something just so relaxing about watering your flowers or your plants I don't know if you are not a plant person um, and you know you haven't tried it before I would highly recommend getting some florals or some some you know house plants there's just something really cathartic about watering your plants and pruning them, gardening in general. It's just really, really relaxing.
Eventually, when I do have the backyard done and we're able to have you know a table down there and we're gonna have a fire pit area, we're eventually gonna have um, a vegetable garden. We've got big plans for our backyard, but eventually you're going to be able to see the back side of this deck. And when that happens, I think I will also have some flower arrangements like this on the other side. So not exactly sure what that's going to look like. I'm not going to worry about it right this second, obviously, because it's going to be a while before we have all of those things. But I did try to pot a couple of the petunias toward the back um, just to kind of give it a, a fuller look. And as they get bigger, you'll be able to see them from the front and the back. Um, if your, you know, flower uh, pots or flower beds are up against something where you're not going to see the back, you only want to focus on the front, obviously, but um, you, you know, that's going to be up to you. And also how full you want your flower beds to be, it's going to be up to you. I wanted mine pretty full, so I really packed them in there, but it's going to depend on the look that you're going for. Um, and in a second here, when I put in this last candy tuft, you're going to see this last one is like super big <laughs> compared to all of the others. I tried to get it to lay down as much as I possibly could, but this bad boy is a beast. So hopefully the others catch up. And here they are completed. I just love the look of these beautiful flower beds. The really delicate petunias with the really sweet and almost lacy-like candy tufts. It just looks so pretty. Almost has a little romantic feel to it. I love it so much. Moving along to some more colorful flowers, as I promised, we're going to be getting some other pots going here. I'm super excited to just bring as much color as I possibly can to our deck. Like I said, this is a space that you see from the outside, so, or from the inside, I'm sorry. So I wanted it to look you know, as beautiful and colorful as possible. So these are the florals I brought in. These are a thrift. This is a perennial. They will come back every year. These right here, I love the color purple on these. These are an osteopermum, and again, another annual. It should Those will have to replace every year. And then these are my absolute favorite, the ranunculus. These are, again, another annual. 
these will not come back I'll have to replant these every year but that's okay so we're just gonna go ahead and get these into some pots I picked up some more of those really beautiful pots from better homes and gardens at Walmart in fact I'm pretty sure I bought like the last big one <clears throat> I'm hoping to go back when they get some more but I love these pots the neutral color is beautiful they already have an aged look to them they look good indoors outdoors I just think they're super pretty um, and again, I'm just using, you know, some basic potting soil and um, trying to keep the roots, you know, as intact as possible while still making sure that there's enough room for growth. And I chose these plants because there's some height to them. There's also some color variation, but um, for the most part, I tried to keep them all just kind of whimsical looking and pretty. Um, and tried to bring in as much you know color as I felt comfortable with I really do um, not really big on like a lot of the yellows uh, but these um, yellow ranunculus almost looked like they were orange they're just so pretty and I loved these tricolored together they were all together when I bought them and they just looked so pretty like that that I figured why not and I had all intentions of getting those ferns into the pot, but this sweet little bumblebee or massive bumblebee was taking a nap in the shade and I did not want to disturb him. So this takes us into my favorite part of today's video. I want to thank Gigalumi for partnering with me in getting my deck ready to go for those summer nights. Gigalumi specializes in solar powered outdoor lighting. I've got these adorable lanterns here. They look like they have a real candle inside. They're absolutely beautiful. And then I also have these deck lights that are solar powered, like I said, and they go right here on the railing on the deck. They're so fantastic. They just light up this space. You can also put them on steps if you need to for safety purposes and they're perfect. So I went ahead and got these um, out of the package and we're gonna get them up on the railing here in just a minute. This box of deck lights comes with 16 of these little lights here that are perfect for just illuminating the space. And the thing I think I love the most about them, besides the fact that they are solar powered and are not going to cost me a dollar to have them lit up every night, um, is that they come with these great sticky options for adding them to your space. So I was a little bit hesitant to drill them into our deck just because I wasn't sure if when I got them on if they were going to be exactly where they needed to be or if I need to move them I was so terrified you see me counting here like trying to figure it all out but I'm terrible at that stuff I'd really rather eyeball it and having these um, sticky options just like a command strip was fantastic so I could move them if I needed to and I didn't have to worry that I was you know putting permanent holes into this wood so that was really really great but Gigalumi is committed to providing a green lifestyle alternative for everybody who uses their products environment friendly reduced carbon footprint all those great things and and of course using the solar power to get there so make sure you check out the link down below there is a 15% off coupon I'd love for you to be able to grab these items to make your space look just as beautiful Here in the front, I'm just adding a couple to these potted plants and these will eventually move their way to the back deck, but for now they're just adding some color to my porch and now I feel like I need to add more color to the porch. And once I do have this front yard um, decorated and get some grass going, I'll finally be able to add the rest of these beautiful lantern lights to the walkway. So you just take off the top, you pop off that safety piece, you turn it on, and then you put it right back on. You can either hang these or add the stake to the bottom. And they just, again, are powered by the sun and they will turn on as soon as the sun starts to go down. So I'm adding them to these two pots and 
I cannot wait to be able to add them to the whole walkway because they are stunning at night. They look like a real candle is lit inside. They're just so beautiful. I wish that I could have had these when I got married, had these in my outdoor space. They would have been so pretty. I can use these for a party. I can take the stakes off and hang them in the trees. They're just so beautiful. They, they look like an actual candle or a lantern that you would use for decor. And here they are at night, my favorite time. These are the deck lights in action, and you're gonna get a little sneak peek of the furniture that we purchased for the deck. But look at how pretty this is. Not only does it look professional, it just adds such a pretty lighting. It's like a whole mood out here, I love it. So that's what the deck lights look like. And again, those just came on as soon as the sun started to set. And here are the lanterns in the front yard. They just look like a beautiful candle is lit and I love the romance that they bring. So thank you Gigalumi for sponsoring this portion of today's video. And that is it for today, you guys. I can't wait for you to see part two of this makeover. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.